about to get fired up. What's up, socials? Happy Social Thursday. You know, I was talking to a potential client today, and it was really funny. We had this great conversation about how he was doing the best that he could to share great content on Facebook, except that he was linking to other social networks. So I know this sounds really like, oh, well, why not? But the reality is we're not on social networks so that they can bring us more social activity on other networks. We're on social networks so that we can build a brand, so that we can build our own brand presence, so we can build our own online entity, so we can build our own thought leadership, not to give traffic to other websites that we don't own. And I just thought this is a great teaching point. I had to share this with you guys today because this is really a big misconception. We're getting more likes so we can get more followers, so we can follow me on Twitter and then follow me on Facebook and do all those things because I need everybody else to think I'm cool and the only way for that to happen is if you go do all those things. Guess what? Not a good idea. I don't care if people think I'm cool. I don't care how many times I get in the comments of my YouTube videos that, oh, I can't believe you don't have more subscribers or you should have more Twitter followers. Why don't you have as many Twitter followers as blah blah blah? Uh, cause that stuff doesn't make me money. If you wanna talk about people that care about my brand, that are gonna buy my book when I write it, they're gonna buy my services when I present them, those people are on my email list. And guess what? That's mine, that's all mine. That's not something somebody can shut down because they didn't get funded. That's not something where you can change an algorithm and make my list less. No matter what, I own that information. I own the ability to connect with those contacts in an environment where I decide what the outcome is. So I beg of you to stop asking people to follow you on Twitter when they like your Facebook page. It's just silly. Don't you have better things for them to do? Like buy your stuff? Think more about how these platforms are a funnel for you. They're getting to know you. What's the next step after getting to know you? Maybe date number four where you're kind of going to like round the bases a little bit. What part of the process is that for you? Does that mean that they're subscribed to your email list? Then get them there. You need to get them somewhere where they're more committed to the conversation with you and more about your brand and not distracted by all the shiny things. Take advantage of social for what it was built for. Building relationships and then getting them off the social network to where you hang out most of the time on your online entities. That's all for today's socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Make sure you sign up for Amy's Elite so you don't miss a beat because that's where we start rounding the bases. Mm-hmm, that's right. Hey, and if you missed the webinar this week that I was doing, there's still one more left on Monday. Eastern time afternoon. So check that out. The links in the description. I would love to see you there. Top seven tips for becoming a pro vlogger. It's been popular. People are loving it. You better be there. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow on iTunes and Stitcher for the Marketing Lifestyle Show. We have a new episode coming out with my favorite guy, Chris Saron from The Saron Show. And then of course, back on the YouTube channel next week for Savvy Tuesday. See you then.